we are starting, and we have a pie offer, and apparently who... Steinkast swapped. And I, you know what? I think from that pie, um, it's interesting that he swapped, because didn't I play, like, the same pie against him, and he chose white, and he won? And now he... he it's playing the same. It's the same pie against Hootie, but now he's choosing the red side. I definitely don't remember the pies that well. Oh well, the thing is, like, I've been pushing my luck against uh, testing Cordy and Atari uh, because, um, uh, well, essentially, I've been playing a, a pie which I believe to be like a little good for red, knowing that they would pick white because they love white so much. And right. it, I don't know how Steinkaus feels about, um, about these, you know, swaps. Yeah, I feel like I, I just don't have much to go off in for Burns, Burns kind of games or, like, I, I haven't tried to look up the games that he probably played in the, um, the Mo Mochalunt or Mochalunt or whatever we, however we decided to pronounce it. Yeah. I mean, and like, then, obviously, other than that, I don't know, does, does he play on BGA or anywhere else, or...? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can I can look it up, actually. Uh, but I, I, I don't... Yeah, he probably hasn't the same username. Yeah. I mean, Hootie's mostly a chess player. That's uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know much about Hootie either, because I, I don't think I really followed the championship last time around. Yeah. I, I was um, I thought he played a really good game against Rob. Yeah, I mean Hootie's I don't know. Hootie's great. I mean he he's been playing Tumbleweed since the beginning, but uh, but like I'm saying before Tumbleweed he was mainly playing chess and like oh. Smash Bros. They're both very relevant to Tumbleweed as far as I know. It's very relevant. I, I'm, Sma I mean, Sma Smash Bros yeah. in particular. Really? Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. I mean, chess is very relevant to tumbleweed. I, I, I've, because uh, like I, I, I come from initially from chess, I guess, even though I'm not super good, but then I, just in a bit of go, and I think chess is very relevant for tumbleweed because of um, um, controlling a certain spot and right. how important certain spots are, which, yeah, maybe yeah, it's not so as much present in go because of the yeah, way rules work. You don't have these kind of lines of lines yeah. of attack or anything like whereas here it's kind of like pieces are like queens or something or yeah. Yeah. or bishops or, like they have this kind of long range attack or control this is I interesting kind of the, see that. the bridge that happens here so i mean obviously white can't play on i6 because it just gets captured um but white can play this like guarding move k8 to put three lines of sight on i8 sorry i8 i didn't mean to say i6 yeah I feel and like Tolorian... would you try would you try block it then yeah with with, with j or something j uh, a yeah I would but didn't Tolorian, didn't we play a game like that where where you played a similar tactic against me and I, I did I tried the bridge and it ended horribly for me I thought I tried the bridge and it ended horribly for me oh really <laughs> maybe it was against Ben <laughs> okay okay but I do think that um, they're off to an interesting start. I, I, I don't know. Hootie's like, he he doesn't really, um, he doesn't prepare the openings. You know, he doesn't really. Um, yeah, you could do G9. J9, sorry. Yeah, yeah J, J9 after J8? Uh, no, I mean right now, that's what oh, he did. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But then, oh, interesting. Now I8 is a threat. Uh, yeah, exactly. The bridge does not work anymore, I8 yeah. and also J10. Mm -hmm. Cutting the link. All right, I'll be right back. So I'm I'm not sure, but I think that's sort of what's supposed to happen when um, it's a bridge like this. You approach it, and then you can play the other move. So if red plays I8, probably white can play J10. I'm not sure if it's the best one, but. Then it pretty much captures uh, I9. Yeah. And then what a... Oh yeah, so if... 
Yeah, there's no real way to say so. I mean, if red ignores it, it, it looks uh, pretty so, bad. So, IA, IA J10, is that what you said? Was is an option? It's probably, yeah. yeah. And then, could you just play like G9 or something and attack the one stack and trade or something? Yeah, you can trade. That's why I'm saying it. I'm not sure if it's completely good because then maybe wait is a bit boxed in on the lower right. Because the, the threaten to trade is a kind of a parry or something, is it? As well, yep. potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have to. It, it's one of these that uh, that um, Alec was talking about on the Discord the other day. You just like do a, some kind of like in between move or something? Yeah, yeah, to get another yeah, defender. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe this is gonna gonna happen, but maybe I guess maybe you don't have to. You have to come up with something pretty big uh, as white because otherwise next move red just plays J10. Yeah, it's yeah, probably very happy to yeah capture the two. I kind of wonder, like in some of these, like do you want to like make it like an exchange first or something? I'm wondering, but you. Can I mean I guess you could also play G then, but is that is that good? G ten is a two stack, and it yeah. also could controls J ten. Yeah. It it allows J eight or something like that, but uh, I think maybe G ten is not bad. Kind of change direction of it. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I, I don't like sacrificing J nine as wipe it. Mm. But maybe you have to. Yeah, this is already very complicated. I I, I haven't played that many games uh, where red tries the bridge. Mm. I was just thinking in some of the trade variations, like, is it possible to do, like, exchange K for J? So you just get one more piece on the right side. They shield or something, say, and then you continue on the left side. Just so you you know you don't just have this one stack. You have at least two stacks to kind of work with. Mm -hmm. them. Even you know even if the yeah, the I, I think the, the J nine got captured. I think if if you do that, then maybe you have a problem that red controls the the file that um, white just got. The I nine uh, and fourteen. I nine and fourteen. I mean the the bottom file with the two red ones. I mean maybe it's a matter of playstyle. Like uh, uh, in Tumbleweed, well, I, I read really, yeah. I really don't like having having two. I mean w ones are very light. I don't I don't like them. Yeah, well I kind of imagine that some of them get captured and some of them you just use to get a two or a three. In a in a good spot, like. Yeah, actually, I I, I have. I mean, it would probably take a better player than me to figure out, but like, generally, I don't like um, trying to do this sort of light stuff with with ones, like some sort of sabaki or something, because uh, you you give too many lines of sight to the defender. Yeah, I mean, I think I just do that in necessity. <laughs> like, I just end up dying yeah. anyway, so it's just like, okay, well, I guess we're sacrificing this. Um, okay, so. I'm wondering mm -hmm. what's going to happen because the, the, the capture is actually a little bit sente. Um, like if you, if you, if red tries to do G9, then capturing is a threat on the red too. Yeah, you have to answer and then white gets sente. Yeah. And then, and then white can just even capture G, G9. So G9 does not work, I think. Oh, you can capture G9? Yeah. Yeah. So if if um, if red tries g nine, then you capture uh, i nine, which is an attack on the two, and then you can capture g nine. Next turn, if 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 wait, if red defends the two. G nine. G nine. Yeah, I was just saying if if red tries to get g nine uh, to, yeah, you know it was suggested to to try to get one another line of sights. Oh yeah, that it's won't work. In between move. That yeah, that's, won't work. Yeah. That's not an in between move, I guess. So, so what's the sequence? Is G nine takes. Oh no, sorry. G nine oh. takes, and then oh no no I say G six. 
Yeah. You capture G6, and then did you say you could capture G9 though? By no, playing like G10 or something? G9. Yeah, yes. I was thinking G10, but it doesn't capture it, so you can shoot. Yeah. Because G6 will go down. Yeah, G6. Yeah, yeah, but but even if even if white plays G10, then red still has like a shitty shield or something. Uh, I don't think. Wait, I maybe I came too late to the conversation, but like instead of G5, which was played, if red tried yeah. uh, G9, is that the the question, right? Yeah. yeah. Then white captures what I. I9. Yeah. And then and yeah. then red captures G6. Yeah, that was the kind of trade I was thinking about. Yeah, but then but then actually. Yeah, I completely miscalculated, miscalculated because the red one is defended twice. So you can parry. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could parry or you could. Um, wait. Capture. Maybe not. Parry, but. Shield on H9 or something. Okay, but that didn't really happen. I guess Um, now we have yeah. G5. Yeah, I'm just... I'm wondering is this better because you still capture on i9 with the tre and then then you capture g6 as an answer right i guess um just, white would instead exchange yeah i guess white would not let g6 be captured and instead shield on g8 maybe g8 i don't know but like it, it looks really painful to let g6 go down and it's and now it's too late yeah but, but now I'm wondering, though, is this actually better for red to have the stack on G5? Like, it feels like G5, G6 is more redundant than G9, G6. You know, if you got if you got to put your two pieces down. Yeah, T totally. But then maybe it's more solid because, the you know, you're kind of more in a bunch in the center. Right. You know, if you do get the... If, if G6 gets captured, do you want a 1 on G5 or a 1 on G9? The the person I was talking to on on Mind Sports that was playing uh, Storm's End Day yeah. was actually interested in Tumbleweed as well. Hell yeah! Did you get Did you get him on the Discord? Uh, I told him about it. I haven't linked it. I have to check the link. I think did uh, Mi Mihal posted a disc like I don't know is it like a permanent link that's on um, mm -hmm. the BGA forums or something? I might grab that one or something and send it. There's there's actually permanent links pretty much everywhere. All right. Yeah, might might send one of those in the next um, game chat or something. Yeah. I yeah I I, I posted. I, I think one of the new people from uh, on the server is from BGA. I posted a few a few links. Awesome. Trying to convert beginners. Yeah. Uh, we so that, um... we got G ten and then G six captures. Do you think Woody should not, capture I think now? Red's position is pretty solid. Red's position, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Is it? Do you think? I think time to capture or um, get something on the upper side first. Um, the, I mean, the, now the capture is not sent, so probably it's getting urgent to expand a bit. I don't know. Yeah. Probably so. I think both players. Um, I mean, both both positions aren't too bad, but yeah. Uh, white needs more lines. I mean, white needs more pieces on the upper side. Alec is my Ojo, okay? I noticed the last time that it was fucking terrible. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know. There was like I didn't, a. I didn't think so. Was it in the video or something? Yeah, in the, in the video, yeah. But last time I was streaming from a different computer, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, as long as it's fine, it's okay. I think I think it's fine in on this computer, like, to, to just record through the computer audio, like, computer microphone. I haven't, I haven't blown out these, this microphone yet. Hmm. This is interesting, though. The, the setup. Yeah. Obviously, red is sketching out this big upper right side. Mm -hmm. I, 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 there's, I mean, I'm having trouble seeing a comfortable spot to place a white one or something. Mm -hmm. I Oof. would say maybe A4. Or... Yeah, okay, A4, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. And now, uh, I guess, um, 
I this guess one, Red like, can... Like uh, a second behind. Yeah, probably. I guess Red can now block... Um, can Red do some blocking? Because Red doesn't want to let White get J4 or K4. Yeah, so maybe G, G4, F4, I don't know. Yeah, G4 or F4 look fine to me. But then that, that offers White a free move, kind of, almost. Yeah. Because now, if 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 G four or J four or F four, then then yeah. White can still play K four, uh, in Sente. I don't know if it how much it helps though. Just to get a piece on that side, though. Mm hmm. Maybe you would just play A eight. I don't know. Or no, but or J eight. J eight. Red. I I wanted to block the yeah the other side, but. Yeah. Then I guess uh, you can't you can't block both. After B five or um mm -hmm. if if J eight then then K four, I mean that's fine. Just K anyway. Now we have mm. we have the possibility for J four. Looks yeah, J four. Yeah. Looks pretty legit actually. Just to kind of give yourself lines of sight. Mm. How is it, is it possible to tell me, like, how many people are seeing the stream? It says, it's, I don't know how reliable it is, I see like a one. One, okay, that's. Is that, is that me? That might, well, if it, I mean, it should be at least one would be you then. But, but then. So the thing is, I don't know, because if I go back, you know, sometimes you see different numbers, right? So say I go out to the, the board game category or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there it'll say two or, you know, now it's actually up to two. Um, but like, you know, like the people that appear in the chat, for instance, are always like slightly more as well. So I don't know, is that like, you know, somebody who happens to be just looking at the general board game category and maybe they appear as like viewer or like part fractional fractions of a viewer or something okay. to like every every stream that's that's in the category or... I don't know exactly how it works. I mean, I'm definitely watching the stream from my phone, so. Mm -hmm. I guess we can account for the, all the viewers now at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's just, there's always, like, you, you do tend to see more people in the actual, when you, you know, when you click on the, the button to see the viewers in chat, like, there's usually more there, but it's like, are they watching? Are they just in, like, another category or, or you know something that can see the stream but isn't necessarily having the having the stream directly open mm. sorry sometimes I, d I don't exactly know i would probably do K j4 and then after that um red might try to block and then i would go and do like something like c4 or something d4 or e4 you know mm. and if he's surprised by that m9 hmm I guess the point is that if um, one of the lines of sight is blocked by red, then yeah. white can use the other one. Yeah. But it does seem, in general, it does seem kind of dangerous to put a one stack just like adjacent to a link uh, that is created by higher stacks or taller stacks. I would I would instantly L8, but I'm also not in the competition anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the uh, no, I was just wondering, like, because now with J4, you're actually trying a tree stack on J6. J4, like you know. Yeah, it, yeah. After you play J4, but that's not going to happen. I think first you think G going to block immediately. G4 probably is the the block I would use. G4. I guess you don't have to be worried as red about uh, J6 for now, because you control the left cutting point twice. Okay. So he he plays L8. J6, you said? Uh, I I meant that um. 
Maybe you were right because the the I mean there was a threat of a two stack of a two white two stack on J six. Yeah. Um, but it's actually not a double cut threat because the the left hand uh, point uh, J eight is controlled three times by red. So. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but, but in any way, yeah. Anyway, burnt played though. The only, the only thing I still like though is that if you get J four, um, you know while there isn't a third line on J six, J six will set up like a a double threat on the on the LA and the G six. Right, like it'll. Yep. So you'd probably want to attack it then or something. But neither of them are actually a double threat. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, if you even if you could like plant a J six, now somehow we could just put a two on J six, it would uh, just come under attack, right? That's the first thing, and second of all, you would need like more moves on both sides to uh, make that J six actually be a double attack. Well, the thing I was thinking about is what if you get the two on J six, but it's actually sacrificed. So let's say they they could get a move like k6 to capture right so mm. like imagine there was like no shield or something yeah um but then you might get a move like c6 for free or a move like l9 you know like one of the out outside moves becomes a, like what, what you end up ex like the net result will be that you've exchanged an outside move for an inside move like k6 yeah. Or you know, you know, there's this kind of this kind of idea where you, you sacrifice something on the inside, but you get free moves on the outside. It's just the the problem would be that it takes a good bit of setup. It, yeah, you only get one yeah. free move in that case, so it must be it better be valuable. Yeah, it better be valuable. Yeah. I mean, if if you could get c six and sent a, it seems like a good move, but yeah. Why? It's. Um, because the, it, I mean, if, if you get C6, then I think the left side is very hard to invade for red. True. True. Uh, I, yeah, that's true. Just blocking a good few lines and then the neutrals in the way. And... Yeah. But, but, but what, what do you think, like in, in, in the current position, how do you, I mean, I, I guess, you, so you want to play J4 probably as, as white? That would be my first choice. Yeah. That makes that makes sense. Maybe J four G four. J four G four. Yeah, that that would definitely happen. And it, I don't know whether it is good for white or good for red in that case. Me neither. And after so G four, like I guess exchange in J four for G four, you just weaken A four unless you can follow it up. A little bit, but I, I think there's also no. Uh, I mean, there is. There are some good ways of attacking A4 actually. I'm a bit confused by this move. Okay, I think it actually sets up some attacks of the twos, from behind. It's too mm. late though, right? Because now red can just block it off. Yeah, red, red can play G4. Probably the best thing. And day six mm. is not available. Oh. The only thing, the only thing though is like red would definitely be committing to like, uh, you know, less than a third of the board or something in that instance. Yeah, which is why probably why Barrett played this one instead. Yeah, it's aggressive. I feel like this is at least using the one stack well in the bottom right. Yeah, and see, it sees the left side. Mm. Good. I mean, I I guess yeah yeah. If if red just solidifies, what? yeah, the the top right, so it's not enough. It's uh, yeah, you 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 get too too frustrated. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. I just wonder in what world you uh, you give up L nine. Yeah, I was thinking that too. If a white just proceeds with J four, but I don't know, it looks bad. Like, like if you played L fourteen, and then captured the one stack on N fourteen. Okay, that might be worth it. 
Uh, L14, yeah. But he probably wouldn't let that happen either. So maybe he did the Santa capture as well, and kind of annoying. But... but if you're planning on doing N14 anyway, then. Yeah. Or no, is it. Okay, L. I see what you're saying. Yeah, L. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so like you're trying to reinforce, and then if they capture, then you get to capture, and. It doesn't really resolve the line across to the left side, but maybe you get some compensation. You know, if uh, if Baron beats Hootie, then I have to play Hootie in the loser's bracket. <laughs> this is somewhat similar. Yeah. I, yes, but then... Doesn't threaten to reinforce, but it does threaten like a tree as a shield or something. Sure. Also, parrying is possible in that case. But the parrying won't really go anywhere. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking about the ones deck now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, what is. I, I think it's still good to capture. Then maybe the idea is capture shot, but that doesn't seem to work. What's your dog's name again? Chester. Hey, Chester. He's actually in a different room, but he's just quite loud. Believe it or not. Could also be the microphone or something. It's just like earphones, but it just seems to pick things up sometimes. One of the things about M14 as opposed to L14 is expanding on the top left is a little bit bigger for wide. Yeah, it makes sense. Like you, like you can push out the C4 or something or yeah. A2 or wherever you need to. G8 or something. But the thing, the thing I kind of dislike about it is just the... Well, I guess that maybe I don't dislike. Yeah, maybe it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what's... Um... Do, you, do you just capture then? How is it? I probably would. Because otherwise letting red get more moves, uh, for instance... And you can get a three, three stack cut if you want. Or M10. That's, yeah, but that the might thing I'm, pretty fast. The other thing I'm kind of curious, like, what if you just block, like, make some really staggered block, like I-11, or, you know one of these where, like, you open up new lines, and then you, but you're also blocking the, the N-11, yeah. the 11 line in. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, then you also don't allow... But the thing is, there's too many good shields for red, um, so I think it's probably a good idea that Hootie captured. Right. I mean, in this position. I wouldn't have... Uh... Actually... Oh, if, you, you, you mean shields shields for N14, like, or...? Yeah, yeah, red had abilities to shield for N14 by playing N, uh, like, L12, L12 or yeah. K11. K11, yeah. Yeah, so it does make sense. I guess it was, it's just if there was any particular uh, line you needed on the left side for something. Mm -hmm. the, only, the only thing, though, like, red is kind of free to throw one somewhere now. Yeah. I think I think red has to, has to expand yeah, or invade. Yeah. yeah. Even, like, invading to expand like that's true yeah like just throw one somewhere on the left and then try and make a two or some you know somewhere in the center yeah I, I, think, four. I think you can but so you can play b6 aiming for g11 mm -hmm. or but, uh d11 aiming for like d6 or something or d d7 true mm. I maybe I'd play like F eleven. 
Oh yeah, if it even is maybe more central. Yeah, a little bit more influential. Hmm. B seven. I guess this way you've threatened a cut, which would be really big. C six or B or B five or something. Both of them actually. Both of them, yeah, 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 yeah. Like D D seven and B five. And 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 if you block one of them, then the other cut is an attack, which is kind of funny. Um. The... Yeah. No. Hmm? No, it's not. It's not an attack. Oh, if you block one of them, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I I meant if white blocks. Yeah. But I was actually thinking for white to play C six now because, um, then there's the bridge on B five, so red can't play there. And then if red cuts d7, uh, at least white gets to start the attack. Mm. Yeah, you get the first move, kind of. d7? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So c6 is kind of the in-between. It's kind of a, a annoying that... Yeah. I'm wondering if, if, if red cuts and uh, g10 can be attacked later. Actually... See, so c6 is also the move I was saying would have been good to maybe try and activate something with the j4. But now that you've lost uh, yeah. no, l9, it kind of loses yeah. a bit of a punch. But but actually, you know what? If if, if red pl or white plays b5 and then uh, red cuts with d7, white has a pretty good shield on d5, and then that act that re re attacks d7. And I wonder if okay, this... then maybe d6. I don't know. D6. Uh, I meant there's a red shield later, but um. Hmm. Yeah, that that. that... This work. I mean, uh, what you said. Hmm. I'm trying to wonder okay. if a similar thing applies to the other cut. So like, if d7 and then red b5, then. It's it's not a similar situation, yeah. Okay, so now he's doing um who is doing what you were saying, which is blocking the line of sight of N eleven to the left. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. And played the uh, Yeah, it said you left the game, so you might have to refresh. Oh yeah, yeah, you probably yeah. Mm. Alright, let's refresh guys. Okay. Um I think this move is a little bit um missing well, the urgency of of red's attack on the on the left side to be honest yeah so if red plays if red answers though maybe maybe now d7 is an attack or something right mm, yep but probably red plays d7 i'm not sure yeah yeah oh that's the point but red doesn't really need, need to answer that yeah so after red d7, I think that's probably the most likely situation, or red even red b5. But then I mean, maybe, okay, J, so... does j4 also trying to put a tree on j8 now, though? Okay, I think I see a point to the last move. Uh, now you can play m10 and forcibly capture uh, n11. True. That's white. Because th th this last move from Houthi, mm -hmm. m11, it actually blocks a shield. Um, mm-hmm. On N and twelve. Yeah. Maybe that was the point, but it's probably. I don't know if it's big enough. Yeah, I think it's a little yeah. bit slow. Um, because all of the lines of sight, coming from N eleven, are pretty safe. I still like J four though. Yeah. So it does. It does threaten J eight now, right? There's a tree stuck in J eight. True. So at least it has a bit of a kick to it, and then, and then you can do something on the top side, maybe. I don't think that red would respond by blocking that line of sight, though. Like j four, and then I don't think red would say something like would play at j eight. I think red would rather let Hootie just 
get GA get GA because it's, it's too, too slow to capture IA and yeah because because again there's already like it's like in Go when you're biting on granite it's it's the same thing here mm. yeah and and I, I guess also the the situation on the right side like the um, the three stack on the L nine and stuff it makes it that if white gets a cut with a three stack it's maybe mm. I mean you, you maybe you lose a couple points. But. Right, less less urgent. Okay, so who do you tax this stack instead? Which I think makes sense to try to like stir up some stuff because Hootie does have a lot of good shields probably coming out of this M14 stone all the way up to the top left. So he can probably defend. Um, and also it might be interesting if Hootie gets like, like, like just accidentally gets three lines of sight on the neutral. Um, mm. Or like without, without Barrett noticing. Yeah, that's true. But I'm worried. Okay, so that move at least didn't, didn't uh, put a, any serious attack on Wyatt, and Pudi can probably in the end give up a four without too much, um, like too much pain. But he has to build some position on the upper side now. Otherwise, it's red will just continue closing off. And, and, and connect his groups from the left to the right, and then Hoodie will have a very difficult time making anything in the top. Yeah, I mean, maybe... I guess now you probably can't really play J4, because red G4. Um, yeah, probably not, but, but what about C4? Is that... Is that too... Too, like... Of a nothing burger. Do you ever want the D10 to do like one more attack, or do you think just asking for another shield for red is just too good? It might like, make yeah, it might strengthen red too much actually. Like D9, D, D10. Uh, D10, maybe I would answer D5 as red. Mm. D5. Yeah. Oh. Getting a three stack there would be pretty cool. Maybe yeah. good. Is there any like moves that white can make that look kind of dangerous but just are somehow magically defended by all these sorts of lines of sight? Like E6 or something? E6. Okay, Hootie's pre um, preparing. I would have probably done something more like C4 or... Um... I still think this is cool because like uh, like there's still J4, J6 attacks kind of like yeah there's, there's still like it is i feel like it is creating something on the right but whether like you know like maybe like maybe you can imagine like j4 g4 is is still a thing but then j6 attacks the center and then maybe you can even look l6 or something and try and build something entirely on the right side mm. yeah i think so Make a triangle over there or something. Yeah. Big deep invasion. Do you maybe want to attack D4? Or is that not the device? For red? Yeah, like G G4. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm getting really worried about the lines of sight on the right. Yeah. Um, That looks pretty good. But does Hoodie have any good parries after that? Um, yeah, like E4. I mean, not parries, but like um, uh, shields. Hmm. Oh. Well, if if Hudi would have done uh, your D ten idea, Shinuito, then this move would not be possible, really. Yeah. Because even D, because what if you if you answer D. 10 with d9 then you could actually play e10 you, you could make a few exchanges or something but true d10 maybe, maybe it is just setting up a bunch of uh shields though for for red it's it difficult sets up e e3 maybe so how does red uh handle this i mean red needs to shield i think uh white yeah i mean yeah. sorry yeah white white yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe E9 would have been an interesting shield. 
I mean, this shield uh, puts one knight of sight on the neutral. True. As you wanted. As I wanted, and now if 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 the, if Hootie captures the neutral, mm -hmm. then there's another line of sight into the upper right, and uh, Hootie's one step closer to connecting the upper group to the central group. Mm. I mean, it may not work, but I do think that whoever gets to connect um, has a tactical advantage. I'm less confident about that in Tumbleweed because connecting is like... Like, I you mean, can still have your entire tail die. Oh, okay, so <laughs> like, the, the, the oh. connect, connecting removes some opportunity for being... Um, circled around. Yeah, exactly. Which is a... Okay, so E3, E3 is good, but okay, but maybe now capture the neutral. But what about, oh. um, oh, so is D3, is D3 just oh, dead? D3 is probably dead, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is dead. That's too sad. But maybe capture the neutral and then, um... But then I'm worried that if white captured the neutral, then, then red is just going to close off with, like, F4 or something. And then, sure, you can capture, like, some stuff, but... Hmm. Yeah, maybe J4 first, but yeah, then, then after E3 dies, it's really painful. Mm -hmm. or, or after D3 dies. Mm. But if J4 then... And then and then captures and then capture the neutral. At least white's parried. But red will immediately. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that red will cut, but. Yeah. Hmm. Man. It's really good for um, red though. That red captured uh, L nine mm -hmm. because if if there if there was a white two on this on this thing, mm -hmm. there would be so so much potential for uh, attacking the wall of twos. True. It's funny because the, the left side is very unclear, but I guess less urgent than the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barrington has done a good job I don't, of walling I don't off know, some though. territory. Is, is it less urgent? It's kind of like, like, is an area more or less urgent if it's in between two, uh, you know, if it's bordered by bow colors? Yeah, but I okay. Maybe I'm thinking too much in terms of like tactics and fighting. But like, if if white can get behind suddenly on the top right, then it's can be really really uncomfortable for red. I but I wonder, is that going to be at the expense of the top left? Like, yeah, if you if you live in if you live in the top right, you might lose the entire top left. Oh yeah, I, I didn't mean living. I, I meant like killing some. Some stuff. Yeah, killing some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, this one. This one seems a bit tame. Maybe it's a bit slow, but yeah. But I guess if if red captures d three, then you capture the neutral, and it's a parry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But then again. Capture D3, capture the neutral, and then cut. Oh, but on the other side, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's oh, yeah, like, the, the, yeah. Would having C3 tighter have been... Or, you know, rather than B2, C3, like, would that... Would that have been any better? B2, C3... Mm. No, oh, you mean C three instead of B two? Yeah. Um, I, I think not really. But at least it would. Would it have threatened? So you do the capture first on H eight, but at least then you have an idea to come back to C two. Mm hmm. Later. To curl around. 
I think it's, it's, a, around. it's a little bit too slow uh, because... You don't have the time for it, like... Well, yeah, because after, after Captures Neutral, cuts, White can't parry anymore, and White can't... Which, um, which, which was the cut? The... For instance, like E5. E5, yeah. Or G7. Well, well, what about just getting the curl for free, though? When you get C2 captures and then use your new line to place a 2 on the upper right or something. But I feel like you do probably give up the whole upper left then. I think you, you actually can't place a 2 in the upper right because you're on the second line. Oh, yeah. Because you're on the second line. I mean, you have no... Uh, I mean, it depends where, what 2 you mean. Just barely off. Like H2 or something? Oh, because he captured the neutral. Oh, with the neutral, sorry. Yeah, yeah. when the neutral's captured. Mm -hmm. That could work. It's a bit high for a two stack or something, but... Hootie can play a three stack and C4 and just kind of weather the storm. Mm -hmm. So, if you had C C3 right now, instead of b2 could you have tried um c8 c8 what was c8 supposed to do oh okay yeah it makes sense cuts and attacks f11 mm -hmm. this is also interesting although i guess it just gets parried right but i guess the point is that this will create um extra lines of sight in to the upper right yeah it's just damage though on the bottom left is the kind of big problem. So did you, what did you, did you parry or? It's like E11 or something, is it? As red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, E11. And then you do something like, I'll play F2, but then just capture or something. The prob yeah, the problem is there's not like a good sente, right? Or is there? Oh, dude, what about uh, F7 at that point? And then white can parry. Does F seven? F seven. You, you mean F seven for white now? Yep. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it hits the center. Yeah, D seven. Hmm. That's actually very cool. It's a double attack yeah. against D seven and I seven. Yep. I can oh it's attacking I seven as well though. Well, that's very good. And then after that, uh White can just parry. <laughs> if... I hope, hope this is a plan. Mm -hmm. But do you parry? I mean you could just capture I seven or something. You you could you could capture D four, actually, no? I'm I'm saying that later oh wait, D four You can capture D four as I mean you still lose I seven. Which looks pretty pretty bad. Yeah, then then white has maybe a chance of getting somewhere, getting something in the upper right, maybe. But yeah. Or you could, or you could just play F twelve or something, and you've kept a good chunk at the bottom. But yeah, I don't know, yeah. losing the I seven, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I still like F seven. It seems seems very sensible. But maybe maybe losing D four is not worth it. I mean, maybe you lose everything on the yeah. I mean, you definitely lose everything on the top left. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I think. <laughs> well, so, so if you lose D four though, is that a two stack? Uh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you get to capture the neutral when it happens or something. You, you, but you can't capture the neutral anymore True. oh you need that yeah Damn. but but yeah, yeah but actually but no because you already had um oh hang on yeah i'm just trying to, i've lost the i've lost my train of so my picture of all these stacks okay okay f7 d4 captures you've lost the, the attack yeah. on the neutral but then yeah. i i7 captures is not so i7 bad. captures yeah yeah it's similar you've kind of got in that way but 
It's like after losing, but if, yeah, if white doesn't already have moves like J4 on the board, then it's less, it's less exciting because you only, you still just have like another line of sight for one stacks to go in there. Although mm -hmm. I guess you can do I2 or something. I don't know. I mean, you'd have, I realized that you, you'd have to be really sure that whatever you're getting on top is worth it because um, capturing F11 for red is an attack on M11. Jeez, but that's, but that that that's anyway, that that doesn't matter because um if I seven's captured. That's resolved by I seven as well, though, right? Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay. But it is big damage in the bottom left corner. I know it was kind of open anyway, but it is like a. But not unless white just parries right now. No, I mean, like, if... Uh... This is so complicated. Yes, it is pretty complicated. Actually, so, it's... Well, so F you... F11 is, is bad, is it? Because D7? You don't have D7. F... Yeah, no, no, of course. Yeah, okay, yeah. F F12. Oh, yeah, sorry. F12. You don't... You don't... Wait. F12? No, F11. F F11 oh, is move. played, and white can parry using F12, is what I'm saying. Uh... Yeah, yeah, white could play F12, but red has to pick a move now. Yeah. Wait, so, so you know, red could pick F eleven. Oh, true, but then then capturing D seven is just too good. Yeah, it's it's too good. Yeah. What? It's... Okay, I think I'm behind. Okay, 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 I'm behind definitely. What? <laughs> oh, have you been? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was one move behind. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, so now maybe D four captures. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty solid. Yeah. I think you, you can probably lose a couple points in the center. You'd want to close the lines first. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Like you, you have some retreats available. But like i7 captures, maybe i6. Doesn't feel good. But... Damn, this is a really, this is a really brutal fight. I don't. I just don't know how red did it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it doesn't. Like, if I did this, I don't think I would get anything close to the same result. Like, cluster my pieces on the right side. Play like really solid, and then just dive in on the left, and somehow kind of yes, bread around the board. Maybe there's like um, I don't know. Like it, it hasn't been so. The, okay, so the pair is played, but the um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the the AI or whatever stuff like tend to play really fast and expand a lot. But I guess you can, you can also just do something pretty solid, and then. Proper one from it. Yeah. And then you can. And then try to take advantage. Yeah, yeah, because it, 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 it looked like red was really concentrated on the upper right, but yeah. That's what I like to do as well. Just like make sure my group is safe and then kind of show, slowly but surely get over and start attacking and expand while attacking. Mm. I mean,. Yeah, I guess you gotta be, you gotta play a safe move in the right way also. That's, that's, I think that, that's pretty good. This, uh, J, J7, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it has, because capturing has a follow-up. Yeah. It's annoying because now D4 didn't seem to, D4 kind of came for free or something. Mm-hmm. Because it was all just to do a parry that didn't even need to happen in the first place. <sighs> because um, white didn't need to do that attack. I mean, I guess I guess white can still. Oh yeah. I mean, white still managed to. Um, fix some stuff in the bottom left, but. Yeah, yeah, it got points, but now it's. Uh... Now what? Uh... Maybe M eleven or Amy. Maybe M ten. 
will be useful at some point before the capture of M9. Yeah. Yeah, so what you're saying, yeah, because you said that before, Talorian, like M10 captures N11, you'll get like a big kind of parallelogram, hopefully on the bottom. Like if you could imagine something like optimistically O10 across to, let's say the center H10 is something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, like, what's that, eight? 40 points plus yeah, sure. maybe some of the center line plus you're going to capture probably going to capture f11 and probably at e10 as well i presume yeah um yeah but still like i mean mm. just just visu visually like it looks like the board would be split in half and and red would have more on the sides yeah, just more of the center line or something. Yeah. I'm just trying to think how much you actually need to win. Um, so what this, this size A is, is it 169 on this board or something? Yeah, you need uh, 80. So you, so you need 85 yeah. to win, I think. Five. So then if white got 40 and I think 16 is like 56 on the bottom, yeah, it's still a good way to go. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Hoodie keeping things complicated. I, If he gets a three stack on F2 or something, that mm. might be harder to dislodge. But it doesn't that, seem like there's a lot of sensei moves. Windows? Yeah, it attacks i7. Do you, oh, it does, yeah. Do, do you play i3? I, I this is my counting. I think I would have lost i7. i4. Yeah, I would probably play i3. I guess i4 puts another lion on. Some, yeah, some stuff on the, on the right or something. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I4 is actually way better. Um, because it, it sets up a cut. I guess you already have a cut, but uh, a few cuts, but it's just one more cut. Hmm. You're defending the uh, d4 or something, but I suppose you could always capture b2 if it came under attack anyway. Oh, no, yeah, I, I just meant controlling. I mean, not controlling, but like putting another line on g2 and putting another line on whatever yeah, end game yeah. stuff on the, on the right. Various cuts and various things, yeah. Red had uh, two cuts already along the two line. Yeah, yeah, so it's probably overkill, but yeah. Who's here? Oh, it'd be me. Hey, Ben, hey, we're streaming. Guys. Sweet. How are you feeling? Are you watching? Uh, yeah, I'm just, I just jumped in. Um, it's looking like red's doing super well. Um, yeah. But I don't know, maybe, maybe Hootie has something, but I don't know. I think it's going to be tough. Up his little Hootie sleeve. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, ben, have you, um, did, have you listened to the metal album that I sent you on Discord? Uh, I have not listened to it yet. Um, this is the um, Summerlands thing. Yeah, exactly. Have you sure, heard of that group? Okay. Um, no, I have not heard of uh, either the band nor the um, nor the album, of course. Um, but the album cover looks pretty cool. Yeah, I listened to like a few like seconds of it on a YouTube thing, and their video. I mean, it was an album came out in twenty twenty two, but the video looked like it was filmed in the eighties. I think they're kind of going for a throwback vibe. Oh, brilliant! Okay, let me let me check out. I think no. you'd really enjoy it. I, I listened to it and I was like, this is way up your alley. So for the people who didn't know, uh, Testing QWERTY likes metal. But particularly like melodic 80s metal. Right. Oh, oh this is great. I'm yeah. Video now. I thought it was really cool. Like, I thought I was like, oh my God, this is... It sounds like they're, they're going for like a genre and just like 
just killing it just getting the perfect vibe down like i mean the uh -huh. the technique and the the style and everything oh this is sick <laughs> dude <laughs> yeah he's using a charvel too that's what i have oh nice um it's been the it's the end of the year now it's winter time right so uh it's time for me to listen to metal again so i'm I, I went through some like playlists or like uh, blogs, tried to find what are the top metal albums of 2022 and made myself a Spotify playlist and nice. I've been jumping back into metal. Dude, this is sick. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> That's really great to hear, man. Uh, I've been looking for something exactly like, what the heck? Dude, I'm so happy that, that you uh, finally check the things that I send you on Discord. <laughs> Maybe Hootie can shield with F2? I don't know if it's doing anything. Oh. Yo. Yo, bro. Oh my god. This rips, bro. <laughs> well. Is the thing on the left actually. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Did the thing on the left actually actually live? I, I, I don't was, know because after B two captures, sure. and then also um, white will have a difficulty getting a a four to survive, and then red yeah. would be able to capture B four, and then yeah even dude I don't know okay I'm back. I'm I'm watching the game again now okay. that was um very distracting <laughs> if I was. If I was red right now, I would probably just like play some move that cleans up shop. I feel like Baron can almost just clean up shop at this point. And yeah, maybe maybe taking B2. I don't know. Yeah, B2 and then just even capture I2 and capture M9 and just like all of the moves that you can just capture. I don't know. It seems like white doesn't have opportunity to really fight back anymore. I mean, you could also cut and like D D five forcibly captures F seven, I think. Yeah, something like uh, that. Like, yeah, I was thinking about D five as well. Um, um, what about I nine takes? Or I, not a J J nine? Sorry, J nine. Yeah, J9 that's another takes. one. It's just... yeah, we forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. That oh. would, yeah, that would take out K ten too. Yeah, I think I think Hootie should probably capture here. Uh, just just to force yeah. red to reinforce. Yeah. Also, still F two. Uh, shields. If there's anything there on the top right. Also, um, I don't think D five. No, no. If, if you, you 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 won't. Oh, sorry. I I think you won't reinforce. I'm not completely sure. Uh, I think maybe you play um, e6 if uh, if white captures. What am I saying? Eh, I don't know. e6, then white just captures the e10. Yeah, I was, I was thinking capturing f7 was good, but maybe not. I don't know what this one does either. Uh, this threatens a cut on uh, C8. That could be actually not too bad. Shields B2 as well. True, true. One, two, three. Red has really a lot of control over E7, and Hoodie kind of needs that if he wants to shield, so... Like, if he wants to save F7. Um, I don't know if there's any way. Red should probably play E12 here, maybe? Mm, oh, man. That would be... Yeah. Uh, that would be much ado about nothing with this whole parrying situation. 
Because White started this whole business on the lo- on the lower left with an attack. They got parried. Then he did all these attacks in Sente just so he could parry. And then now if Red parries that again... Yeah, if, if he found it. It's just like... It's just like a... Tra- tra- it's a tragic parry moment. So th- does that mean that White C8 is not... Not too bad. C8... Ugh. C8. Yeah. But won't red just, like... Well, if red takes, then uh, white takes on E10, maybe. No, but I'm saying white puts, like, a three stack on D9 or something. I meant red. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, red. Yeah. Yeah. But then actually, um, then D8 after that? Or... Oh, C7 is an attack on the two or something. And C, C7 and D8 also, both of them work. It's kind of interesting. But then your bottom, I mean, in any case, your your bottom side is kind of wrecked. As, I mean, not wrecked, but like... I don't know. It may, it may not be as bad as it looks because uh, red gets this little clump. And it's not so easy to... Like, if, if white has this line, uh, like, this kind of wall facing that direction, plus um, some supportive stacks on the lower side, playing even, like, one triangular move, like, on G14 or something, can ju- it can curb a lot of the red stuff, probably. But can't you actually play, like, C7 or something For... uh, as, as red, For forcing white to capture, and then you capture F12? Um... Yeah. Does that do anything? I don't know. Mm, that might be better, yeah. That might be better. But also also not as bad for White's lower side then. No. Okay, now now actually J9 got scarier. Maybe. So it's a double attack. Yeah. That's that's sneaky. Well, it was kind of prompted. Sure. <laughs> like... Maybe Hootie has Wait, if he plays C7, what's what's Red responding with? Um well, because he can yeah, always I mean, play I, I, a, a three stack on E eight. Yeah, uh, or yeah, E eight, E seven, even. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, maybe first. Really good mm, I don't know. Well, actually, uh, okay, E C seven. Then let's say red plays E seven. Then white plays D eight. Or captures B seven. Or captures B seven, yeah. But I guess D eight is probably better. Okay, but maybe maybe red E eight is better. If D eight captures, yeah. then probably. Or sorry, if D eight, then probably. White would. Capture B seven first, or I don't know. Yeah, E eight is way better because white can't play it. D eight. I think red's too strong. Oh, wait, what, what am I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's. So, what's the what's the source? I got slightly distracted for a bit. You think D seven needs to be defended, and then, but then is B seven gone? Uh, for, yeah, I guess. I don't You've know. at least uh, made something out of it, but then, what you lose F twelve and probably F eleven, and you're getting very trunk on the bottom bottom right mm-hmm. or bottom left basically even the center is gonna crumble a little bit i mean uh, at least the twos maybe they're gonna get captured i, I mean if, if it goes that way do you think hootie can connect up to the upper left <laughs> how do you connect no. do you just like get a path of trees yeah you need a path of threes like double trees or something? Like Yeah, double trees. <laughs> yeah. You need a snaky line of threes. 
Oh, that's it. So can you like zigzag or something or not zigzag, but uh, I guess zigzag. Ah, man, just just doesn't seem possible. <laughs> Also, I'm I'm not sure if investing too many moves in connecting is. Well, what about D five? Yeah, is that what? that's control at the moment though, right? It's four. But if you could he figure out how to get D five. Okay, so he just yeah, captures. That's, that's kind of weird, actually, because now about this. now capturing D seven looks pretty okay. Yeah, it comes with an attack against D four. Yeah, I was thinking D four is a. Not, looks like a nice piece. Not, to it doesn't thing. really come with an attack against D four. It does though. Wait, D four. Oh yeah, yeah. D yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, D seven takes probably only move. It's only move. Yeah, probably only move. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like actually this this last move I read. I don't know about it. It lose. It's a game I, losing move. Who but it win? feels like <laughs> a move. It feels like a move you should consider though, because it's like. It is a kind of a border border move, right? Like it's. Double. But maybe like maybe I completely underestimate how deep you can dive now. Like if you get let's say you get the F eleven as well. Like how far can you actually get into the bottom left corner? You can't red. So, no, but the, the thing yeah. is you, you can you can get G J nine as as red. Can you get uh, I fifteen? Can maybe. you jump as far as I fifteen and um let's see because that hits the two in the center right yeah oh and then maybe you can climb up to the third line or something okay i th i think i don't this what, i don't know what does that do move. i mean this goes after the neutral but i think this is very dubious wait wait did, so, did he play again oh phew. I, I i think so this move defends against a bunch of stuff but it's you wouldn't need to defend against this stuff if you captured D seven. Yeah, D seven. Yeah. Well, it's cap was the only move. Hootie. Uh, because now, now Red's just gonna shield at like E eight or something. Because this this move yeah. could have happened as a shield. Like H eleven could have been a shield after captures, right? After captures, Maybe captures. Hootie. Yeah. yeah. What? What? Okay, now he has to take. Yeah, D seven takes like literally the only move. Now it's really only move, but now he knows. Yeah. Now he knows about it because he's looking at the attacked stacks. He must be. Yeah, it was attacking F seven or something. Was it? Okay. Uh, yeah. So now, do you yeah. think White can connect to the top? <laughs> yeah, I probably. So. Right. Hell yeah. I and, think White's back in the game. And actually, if B seven captures, then B five goes down. Probably. Not sure how much that matters, but it's it's a big like it's a big chunk of change on the left for a way. But overall, right, I, and and through the center potentially. Actually, if White can keep yeah. up the pressure, because still Red's double attack on J nine is highly damning, and White needs to play one defensive move there, like K nine, just to prevent all of that shit. H I J nine. Oh, yeah. If um Voy also has the neutral threat, which is gonna be a double attack. Hell yeah. Once once D4 is defended. So I feel like Hootie should just take the neutral after this next Right. Move. And then that makes it also like less I think easier to handle um the situation because then he can capture I eight instead of playing a, a weak defensive move. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so if if we're at J nine, then you still have to defend, though. You you can't just capture your neutral. Wait, but no, but he's not going to do that yet because Red has to defend D four now, probably. Oh, but you're saying if he just captures J nine now instead? Yeah, I I think yeah. maybe if you play. Oh, okay, I, I I don't know, but I had a feeling that if you play too passive as Red, then you're going to give away too much. But Ugh, but now that's a as this, attack on F seven player that joined. Just if you're curious, mm -hmm. uh, Kieran is the player from um, from Mindsports. Ah, okay. Okay. They, just, they, they just joined the Discord there a couple minutes ago. Oh, they joined the Discord? Yeah. Oh. Or actually, there's an error go. I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, 
I'm just gonna say hi. Yeah, it's been, but yeah, this they obviously found their their way to the IGGC, so it's cool. Great question. Why? So question, F seven. Does red need to or does white need to defend that? Um, I think so. Mm. Is it possible to defend it? Oh yeah, it's easy. I mean, they have a good defense. I. I don't know if it's a good defense, or something. but like something along the F line. Mm. I just don't. I don't like actually, it. I, actually, can you can you let can you let it die and then just capture the neutral instead? That's what I'm I was sure. thinking too. Oh, what or what about F nine and then if if J nine then you can capture the neutral? Can you? I and think then you're F9 actually is the best defense. Yeah. Then you're parrying the the J nine attack. What's the best defense? Yeah. Uh, what Shinji would have said, F9. F9. Because nine. that yeah. friends like once that means that once red takes J9, that H9 will also not be under attack. No, that removes the double attack, yeah. Hmm. Um, but, but it could actually be even decent for white to be no, no, but, 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 J9 but they, here. Hmm. They, the neutral is also probably better, hmm. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I, I like it. Um, yeah. And, and because no, I like it, the thing is, then it's better. <laughs> uh, I don't know though. It's like red can kind of ignore the threat against d four right now. Yeah, like, so J9. it's true, but then d four also there's i seven, and also now white gets the opportunity to play h two eventually, and maybe yeah, make a little bit of life on the top right. F two as yeah. well. Red F2 takes j nine here though. It's like j nine is like really good. Wait, I'm wondering. K10 falls. Do you have some sort of snapback, or? In what case? Uh, uh, no, I, I, I was trying to defend, like in, in the case that uh, J uh, J9 happens. Uh, it happens. I was trying to set up a sort of snapback for white. Yeah. That you you allow the capture on I9, but you defend something else. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's like it'll happen in a way that's kind of nice for white because, I think it can happen. But it happens in a very slow manner. So if if white plays uh, I ten, and then captures, and then H ten, or sorry, this is and then H nine, then you do the snapback. But it's too late, I think, at that point. The so do you do you try um like K ten is gonna be annoying, is it? Wait, what? What is? Yeah, this one. Really I was thinking M ten. But now red just takes on H nine and it's basically H nine. Okay, so it takes I nine. It's okay. I think if it takes H nine, then you start no, attacking that the hell out of that stack. Yeah. No, but like, then red comes down to the bottom with like uh, J fifteen or something. J15? No, no, no. Wait. J15. Can you even... Has he, oh, what? J15. Because yeah. that would be once the three stack is there. The three stack's going to be hard to get back. Like, uh, yeah. It creates two new open mm. lines. Yeah. This was the kind of move that should have been... Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It doesn't really... Well, I was, I was still behind it. Uh, this is not good because now also like K ten is gonna fall and then J J ten is gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Everything's falling. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. On the other hand, after D four captures, D five is under attack. Oh my god! You you even have F nine now as red. I think F nine. It's a double attack. Oh wait, you do. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. Brutal. Dyke attacking T7 and... Uh, F7. Well, F7's already three. attacked though, isn't it? Oh, it's already attacked. Oh, okay, so I guess it's not a double attack. It's a... Uh, you, you, like, at the moment, you've already given up F7. Well, you... Sure, but, like, since it's a con contested point, maybe it's worth pairing. Mm. Okay, well, so he's parried the attack against K10, I guess, but now if F9... <laughs> F9. <clears throat> What's the attack? Oh. 
It's just the attack. No, oh. No, it's, it's just, it just attacks D7. Um, but, like, but you can just, shield it or something. Just, why don't you just take F7 that was red? Like, that seems more straightforward. Take F7, yeah. Because he's a go player. They don't like capturing. Mm. That's almost capturing. <laughs> it defends the D4 now, so it's... Yeah. That's yeah, probably very good. All right. Very solid. Dun, 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 dun. I still think now white can still connect. Do you want C5 or something? Um, well, I think not D6 now. Or something. D6 looks awesome. It just doesn't that... Oh, wait, hang on. We, we need to defend a little bit. Like... It's maybe... F9 or F8. That's actually quite, quite good for connecting. That looks we good for connecting. Can. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like oh, you can't just let red have these open lines coming out of I nine. This needs to put the kibosh on I nine. So, so so now B five is gonna get captured. So maybe you just capture F seven, just to get some use out of the that stone. Yeah. yeah. I think F seven takes here would be pretty sick. Fine. <laughs> F7 takes, and then probably white should play D6, actually. But there's, all, there's also just these giant deep dives, isn't there, to like I14 or J15? Or... Yeah, yeah, moves like I, I10, they, they look kind of slow, but I don't know. I, I would be worried letting, letting red have invasion points. Do you ever uh, have a good way of counting these Ben, these positions? Like, do you do you like the uh, oh. the, the the score tally and then like fudge it a bit to say, well, actually, <laughs> plus minus I, I a look, few contested points, yeah. or do you just um, go off feeling the like the flow? No, it's mostly just like the center line for me in like almost all positions. Um, so I just like look at what stacks are probably dead and then I see who has once I remove those like who's ahead on the center line mm. oh my god what a brutal move and in this case like red yeah I mean, yeah red's doing super well oh that's really good so is that just opening up like I-12 or something um, I for for I red like, no that's that's suicidal or wait I twelve uh, oh, yes it is I, it I is okay. just like really like slapping a tree right in the middle somewhere. yeah that looks awesome <laughs> after the shield like I kind of expect the shield yeah yeah I twelve would be difficult to handle. Barent. Barent is a a monster. He's also not really like losing time much, is he? Like he's fairly Sorry. well man like managing it quite well. Yeah, he's he's he knows how to to do that. Yeah, maybe it's the much um. mm. I don't know what their time controls are like actually. No idea. But also actually, being like actually... a four don go player, he just he, yeah, yeah, he knows, yeah. like, he's probably played a ton of tournaments. Yeah. Actually, I tried to look up the Machelon thing, but the... Um, so, so w w what country is he from? Like, Germany. I assume Germany, but... I think Germany. But, but I think he didn't play the Tumbleweed match. And, I mean, at least I... I don't know. I, I, the only thing I could I could find was uh, Florian's um, vote. And he goes... I don't think he was playing against Bernd. I'm not sure. 
Let's see, what round is it? Like round two or something? Or it was I thought it was early, was it? And I remember there was yeah, France it's France, Germany on, on Florian's channel. And uh, I'm pretty sure they burnt it was not playing Tumbo but there's just like a big spreadsheet as well though. Oh yeah. Um of like all the rounds and results. Boom, it's like season four. Maybe I only found out about it late or something. I mean, I think like a lot of people didn't stream and like Maybe in the, in Florian did not play everybody. Tumbleweed. Um, let's see. No, Burn did play. I think did he? Wait. Yeah. Uh, Miha I said he that he th he said that he learned t Tumbleweed specifically for Mokaland. Yeah, it looked like he was winning against. Wait, let's see. I'm just trying to read the spreadsheet so. Team one, team two. So is it like, do you get paired up against a specific person on the other team or something? Like uh, Germany, France. I think you you, you play the same games. Um, you, you play the same person in multiple in e games. In each game. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they played someone called Jeff or something and they won. Okay. Oh, wait, did they lose? That's not right, is it? Surely. Well, well lines of if he's just They're learning the game, then it makes sense. No, 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 tree one. He won. He won tree one in Tumbleweed. Okay. And then, what was that? It. You just play one team. Surely you play the. Oh. I thought you'd play like all of the teams and all the games or something. Maybe Hootie has a chance just by like. Uh, I don't know. Like Burns like pretty far ahead on the center line, so I don't know. The center line though. Um, but we don't know what Hootie can make in the upper right. I don't think Hootie can upper right. Yeah. Like that. For some reason, I kind of imagined he must have played a lot in motion, but like if it was only one round, it seems. Uh... Like an insane like amount of training. Weirdly good at tumbleweed. He's weirdly good at tumbleweed. Yeah. I mean, if you're four down at go, maybe it's not that weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. This move is like. This move is sick. Yeah. I mean. There's like no cost to playing it, it's like a free attack and then. You just like get a huge group in the bottom left. Yeah, and you get to play a three stack on whatever I fourteen. Yeah, I mean, Not really, yeah. What about I twelve? Oh, I fourteen. Yeah, Burns gonna play H thirteen here to prevent the cut. H fourteen. I don't even think the H, cut's H, that that big of a deal. H thirteen. Yeah, it's probably not a big deal. Yeah. I don't know if it's gone. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Capture. I mean, nice. you could you could allow the, the cut. Yeah. Yeah. After the capture, now the upper right for me, it looks yeah, just nothing. Oh yeah, there's nothing at all. Yeah. Um, was there anything well, before the capture? I like thought H2 that H two was still I, there. Yeah, I would. I would play at least. I play H two and then try to make some living shape. Mm. You don't know why Hootie doesn't play um, F nine though, because like F seven is still under attack, and I feel like yeah, true. that's a pretty big capture. Yeah. He might not notice it. Also, it's captured regardless. So even after F9, Baron can still oh, wait, capture. Three, yeah, there's four lines of sight on it. Yeah, never mind. Mm. But the point was it came with an attack on on D7 or something, right? So it like... Hmm. So if you had to answer F7 with B5... 
And there's yes. like a tree on F9 or something. What about just having, having captured J15 instead of doing that two stack shield? But I yep. guess. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm thinking that if, if if whatever happens in the bottom left, if uh, White gets a third line of sight on I9, then it can be interesting to play F9. Because you would you would threaten to capture. Yeah. I9. Yeah. Yeah, so like if you play out the sequence, like say G13 now, and then if they exchange I15 for something. You could maybe give up the H14 to get I14 so you can get the attack in the center. Yeah, yeah maybe. Right. But even after like, capturing I9, the only benefit is to just, like, stop the further attacks. Be some bad oh God. Burns being so annoying here because, like, now he can play... <laughs> I-15, yeah. and if Hoody reinforces, then Burn plays I-14. Oh yeah, no, he can't reinforce. It's all these moves are gonna die, uh, probably. So... That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. True. That's kinda funny. But yeah, I feel like, like yeah. that's, probably, that's probably the trap for the center, though, surely. Like, so what you're saying, right? You just give up the H-14 and you capture I-9. Yeah, unfortunately... Yeah. Then, then H13 also dies. H13? Yeah. Which is fine. Two points. Yeah, but as, as Alex said, actually, uh, capturing I9 for, for right is just one point, I guess. This move is... Is it, is it one point, though? Because there's still F7 captures, which you you'd probably answer B5, and then there's a tree stack on F9. And I think that's really going to break up the center uh okay what happened there oh you just reinforced them right no they it captured uh oh but burned reinforced n11 oh oh yeah, yeah that was in oh wait i'm still actually. behind that's yeah. interesting that's deep n end game 11. yeah <laughs> Wait, is. why is re reinforcing N11 better than... Okay, I guess this is the same thing. That's I was like just thinking four, four 12, but... Actually. Yeah. What? The, re the reinforced N11 was like a four or five point move. Oh, okay. It's like, that's crazy. Yeah. He's so good at trouble. Yeah, because it, it, it protects the, the one as well, yeah. 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 Good endgame. It's deep end game. <laughs> I've been I've been meaning to to study more end game in Tumbleweed. Oh yeah, uh, I mean those uh those tactics are pretty much those uh, the the book of tactic puzzles are kind of like all end game. Um, Hootie has a who could play like B one or something that'd be like deep end game. True. B one. B B one right? Uh, B one or E one? I was thinking uh, B one, but like because burns threatening C C two as well. Yeah, B one um, is good. Yeah, this move is ridiculous. Damn, I was hoping that Hoodie would play I fourteen like the plan. Yeah, but yeah. Well, we we know at least we we know at least one of them's not watching the stream. <laughs> right. Unless Hootie was oh, like, God. I heard about oh, your plan and I that's thought it was shit. Pretty good. Guys, like deep end game. Deep end game. Guys, like what is even happening? This is like an insane move. <laughs> this is pretty good end game. <laughs> yeah. I actually remember like last time, uh, not maybe not last time, but like Burn versus uh, Atari. Oh um, yeah, that was crazy. Th 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 there was some crazy tactic that he found that was really intricate. Uh, so yeah, H one is attacking the center, is it? And then also, 
also B one doing B1 the end game stuff. stuff end game stuff on the on the left yeah yeah B one now white can't play B one and um, yeah that sucks yeah mm. <laughs> yeah it does suck it sucks it's a it's a crazy <laughs> position yeah. I mean and now red can play B one if they want uh, uh, he's he's definitely finding like just golden moves after golden moves mm. oh my god and B one yeah. Mm. yeah, that's yeah, that's crazy. That's very solid. <laughs> Damn. It's annoying that like I want to I want to play him. <laughs> so I'm out. <laughs> I mean, True. you could you could ask him, you know, <laughs> maybe after the tournament or something. Dude, can you do a Jubango? A testing Cordy Steinkaus Jubango. I don't know what a Jubango is. A, like like a like a, a match of maybe okay, let's say like three games. Best two out the of three. The thing is, is like I would, I, um, but I don't think he'll want to play the time controls that I want to do. Oh, because oh. you want to do five five. Like, you you want no, 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 you, want... you want to do five five uh, four simultaneous at the time, like you know, yes. time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, but just play like play like an even number and play like both opening both sides or something. Play like six or something or yeah, just out of curiosity. Wait, throwing a ten ten in there. Yeah, six six matches. Something uh, like that. Yeah, just like an even number where you pick like three openings and play at each side, each color. Why why would you like? Why no, would you like? Because Ben Ben really likes to play a, a, a number of games at the same time. Okay, true. Who joined? Oh who is this? Uh, oh, it's who do you hit? Oh, it's a, no, it's Anton. Um, Were you watching so, the game? Um, oh, it just ended. It's darn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Burnt has like oh. god level end game. That was like ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. He's like, I just study more openings, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, I played so badly. <laughs> wait, did is he? Did, wait, did he? Who do you respond? Uh, no, uh, I mean, he's like, well, well, wait, wait, wait. oh, I was, oh my God, I was like out of the. Okay. Out of the room, yeah. I was yeah, out of the room for, for for two moves. Damn. Did did, uh, did Burned actually look disadvantaged at any point? Uh, no. I, I mean, I, I felt like the opening, like he was very concentrated in one area, but as we said, it looked fine. I mean, yeah, he was he, he was a lot on the right side and yeah, upper right. But, no, but then he yeah, he, he invaded pretty well. Yeah, yeah, that was like he looks like he played super well. Where's the mistake, guys? Where's the mistake? I know he's playing like only move after only move. I mean, wh where did who do you go wrong? Where did who go wrong? Um... Uh, maybe actually, I don't know. I mean, I, maybe not qualified to L nine. L nine. L nine. Um, L9 takes or which one? No, just L9. Oh, well, uh, move 18. 18. 18. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that did also seem. You gotta play C6. Or J4 at this point. C6. Or J4 or something. Like, I feel like even after K8, instead of M9, you can play J4. <laughs> C6 also seems good. Just red got two moves over there on the left side in the end, like the way it panned out, and mm -hmm. and white maybe just didn't actually get anything actually out of the L nine, like because red actually got massive end game on the right hand side in the end, right? Like, yeah, nine, I nine K eight for you instead of G ten. Where is G ten? G ten, yeah. Oh, G G ten was the triangle thing. Yeah, yeah I, we, we, we thought we thought about 
I nine I I nine what I nine just kept, kept, oh captures capturing the one yeah yeah I don't think that's necessarily any better. No, I think what he played was good. And K eight, K eight. I think K six might be. K eight. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. So, so I guess the difference—the difference between what we were saying, right, was that if you capture first, you only get a one stack on on G ten, but he got a two stack by doing it this way first. It's like slightly more solid. I know. It's the exact same otherwise, like. I think Red still gets to play first. I think uh actually uh playing H seven instead of instead of K nine might be better for white as well. Like at the beginning. On move six. H seven. Instead of J nine you mean? Oh, sorry. Instead of J nine, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It feels like it should have been reasonably playable after that trade, though. Yeah. True. 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 So, do do you mean that um, if if White plays H, if White approaches the bridge from the other side, then maybe White is not as uh, not boxed in, but like yeah. Yeah, I guess boxed in. I think it's less boxed in. Anyway, losing yeah. J G six is the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then you lose eight ten instead maybe, but maybe it's less. But it's less expansive for red then. And also, I, I guess if 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 red captures K ten somehow, then it's more over concentrated than if red captures J six. Exactly. G6. Yeah. Yeah. What about instead of a four you play uh, um, m fourteen? Still happen later in the game. What if M14. you do it early? Fourteen. Um. Possible, but you still you still get a line on the left. You get a line on the upper right. I think having a piece Sorry. up there is pretty important, though. Instead of a four. Yeah. yeah. You play m fourteen. I don't know. I like. No, you can't get a. You you can't play important. You don't have that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, okay. You don't have. Oh yeah. Wait. I think a a four looked fine. Yeah, me like, too. I think so. Wondering yeah, for for the left and yeah. All right. But well, maybe maybe your move I like like uh, J four. Yeah. J four. I wanted him to play J four at some point. Yeah. A, a, a bit funny. A certain. Obviously, it became too late. All right, I'm out. Okay. Yeah. Yep.